right now we'll go straight into reviewing some top stories on our national dailies this morning. And I'll begin with the Punch newspaper. The Punch here says, the banner headline says, Governors attack Malami over 40, 418 million US dollars consultant fee, say AGF light. With the writer saying, Hits suggests a special relationship between AGF office and consultants coming from the NGF. State resources needed for critical development should not be frittered away. For, further down, Air Force officer arrested over a deadly attack on NDA. The story is on page 11. APC elders lampoon Laya Mohammed over attack on Abdul Razak. In Dorsalis, Oha Bunwa declares presidential ambition on PDP platform. Private facility unveils solar on 14 KW solar farm powers neighboring communities. Page 25 has the story. And the bottom stream says Ikoi collapsed building subscribers signed over 500,000 US dollars contracts each. Details on page 20. 40 year old Ogun Bucha arrested over lover's death after sex. Guara barred from Ubex fund over 1 billion Naira looting by ex government from the governor, and that's on page 9. And also, the earpiece says Lagos stops at state half year IGR, which is 849.12 billion Naira. Page 19 has a story. Uncertainty hangs over new PDP leadership as the Kondos approaches Supreme Court. Page 2 has the story. Cooking gas price jumps by 240%. Marketers halt imports. That's on page 19. And finally, on the punch, it says 23 billion naira theft. EFCC customs clash and custody as Mina backs 61 year imprisonment. More details of the story is on page 9 of the punch. Oh, we've got the this day uh, Paris Club refund. Malamis action against uh, public morality interest, uh, say governors. With writers, alleged special relationship exists between AGF consultants above Nigeria's interests. Say payment authorized, processed with unprecedented speed, not common in public service. Moving upwards now, all eyes on Ihiela as INEC concludes Anambra governorship election. Riders adjusts voting timeline for supplementary poll. APC alleges rigging to contest result in Supreme Court. State government assures Ihiela people of security as billionaires' sons' daughters mobilize indigents in diaspora. Now, Clean Foundation seeks improvement in Beavers technology. Now, towards the base of the paper, money laundering, expansion task team boss, my Mayna, gets eight years jail term. Okay, now to The Guardian. The Guardian says, uh, start from the airport, yeah, says, Ecora sustains Guinness sanctions, imposing French ones on Mali. Air Force arrest officer in connection with bandits attack on the NDA. That's an interesting story you can find on page 2. Boko Haram attacks militant, military base in Borno State. That's on page 5. Why Imo Assembly impeached MSDM as speaker installed eBay. Page 7 has the story. And now to the major story says candidates are beat as INEC concludes Anambra Guba elections. And... That's on page two now. And finally, on page three says, Abdul Rashid Mena guilty as charged. To the nation right now. Governors, Malami's role in Paris Club refund suspect. Now, row over $418 million consultancy fee deepens. Proposed deductions hasty. NDA attack. Air Force sergeant nabbed in Eula. Mena jailed eight years for two billion naira pension theft to forfeit 2.1 billion naira houses. Okay, now 5G network is not hazardous, says NCC. Anambra Soludo Ozibo, Oba, others battle for Ihiela. Moving towards the base of the paper now, 
Navy to unveil 77 oil firm status in 2.6 trillion uh, tax arrears.